Today, we are going to start a very important and interesting topic of mathematics called integrals. We have already learnt about derivatives and also understood how to find the derivative of any given function. So, let me ask you this. What is the derivative of the function sin x? Yes, it's cos x. Here, the derivative of the function sin x is well defined and it's given by cos x. Now, suppose that we're given the derivative but not the function. So, can we find the function using its derivative? Yes, we can. And this is what we're going to learn in this series based on integrals. Now, coming back to our example, we have cos x as the derivative of sin x. So, can you tell me what this sin x is called with respect to its derivative? Well, this sin x is called the antiderivative of cos x. So, in order to find the function, we need to find the antiderivative of its given derivative. And this antiderivative will be our required function. This process of finding antiderivatives is called integration. Integration is an important part of the calculus. It is used not only to find a function whenever its derivative is given, but also to find the area bounded by the graph of a function under certain conditions. These two uses lead to the two forms of the integrals, indefinite and definite, which together constitute the integral calculus. Integration is used to solve many interesting problems from various disciplines like economics, finance, probability and so on. But for the time being, we will confine ourselves to the study of indefinite and definite integrals and their elementary properties including some techniques of integration. So, in the next video, we will understand this process of integration in more detail. Thank you for watching this video. I'll see you in the next one.